Hello everybody, welcome to my Warframe Beginner's Guide for 2019. In this episode we're going to go over a few things, in fact the first five things you should do when first starting up Warframe. Now, you're probably going to be around here, uh, I can't remember exactly where the, kind of the first few missions have you end up, but you are going to be stuck uh, on Earth. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is level up your starting gear, and actually work towards replacing it as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually move your way around the planet, uh, and you're going to want to come to this mission here, which is Lith. This is the only endless mission. Endless means a mission that will continually go on until you decide to come out. Uh, and this is the only one you're going to have available to you at the beginning of the game. Uh, is that an interception? There is an interception, but I wouldn't go in there uh, at a low level. These are actually a lot more difficult. Uh, but obviously a lot of these missions are going to have lower level enemies that you're going to be um, most capable to uh, to take on. Um, now, with that being said, uh, another good thing about coming here is a lot of other people will be coming in. As you can see, there are already three open squads there, so you're going to have people helping you out. Um, and basically, that is going to give you uh, this game's version of XP, which is called Affinity. So let's take a quick look at this. Uh, so this is our arsenal. And over here, you're going to see, uh, obviously, this is our rank, max rank, which is 30. Uh, obviously, my Ash Prime here uh, is 23. Uh, and you're going to want to level these up. I've got our little blue lines here, which are going to uh, denote how far we are away from the next level. Uh, all of this um, specific gear, go away, go away, all this, all of this specific gear is going to feed into your overall mastery rank, which is like your account level. So all the levels are separate. So you have your gear level and then your account level. As you can see, mine is uh, currently 18. And then much again here, here I have my, uh, my overall bar. So I'm at halfway to 19 right now. Make, making making some sweet progress, but we're here to talk about you. Um, and so with that, um, you are going to want to repeat this mission uh, until you get yourself to. Uh, ooh, I don't know why it's brought me all the way to Jupiter. Repeat this mission uh, a few times. Uh, it's actually not going to allow you to progress until you do, uh, but you need to actually collect 20 mods, apply four to a single Warframe, um, and upgrade it uh, to level two to progress, which is actually going to be one of the points that we cover in a moment. Um, so that brings us on to uh, mods and modding your gear. So let's talk a few things about mods. First up, uh, to equip a mod, you're going to come back over to the arsenal, pick whatever it is that you want to mod. Let's go with the, the, the Lesian here. Uh, so we're going to press Y to upgrade, uh, whichever button that works for you. And you are going to have uh, a capacity that is either equal to your mastery rank or the rank of the weapon, whichever one is highest. So if I was to equip uh, an unranked weapon, let's see if we can do that here just to show. Do, 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 do I have a weapon ready? Yes, I do. I know I should have rehearsed this, guys. As long as it stays under five minutes, that's fine. Uh, and we're down to two minutes left. Damn. So if I equip the uh, Tomb Zulk here uh, and then show this, you'll see it goes down to 18, which is the same as my rash rank. Uh, now to equip a mod, obviously you could simply go to here, your list of mods will be available down here. Don't worry that your starting um, mods that are available are, are probably going to be a little bit lower than this. Uh, recommended mods from me uh, to start out with on your Warframe, hopefully you chose a point like me, but it could be any. Uh, I would recommend having defensive um, mods on to start with. Uh, you're not going to have Vigor because that comes from alerts. We'll talk about things like that in, in a different video. Uh, but certainly Vitality uh, and Redirection, which are going to increase your shield and health. Um, you may come across things like Intensify and stuff like that. They're going to improve your powers. Um, but honestly, um, survivability is going to be your main thing. You can't learn the game without surviving, right? Um, to try and get um, Vitality and Redirection on there. Uh, Steel Fiber is okay as well, but I really don't think it's terribly important. Uh, now, to upgrade those mods, you're going to want to come over to your mod section over here. Uh, you're going to see we have loads of different categories. Don't worry too much about this. Uh, we'll get into that again when we have a more detailed um, look at mods. Uh, something that is worth looking at, though, is your duplicates. Um, now, obviously, this will show you things that you have mass amounts of. So I'm going to select this one here. Obviously, you have your ability to constrict to the end. I always come back on because I like to keep one of each. Um, and you're going to have the option to do one of two things. Uh, when you select a group of mods, you can either sell it for credits. If you're truly low on credits, um, you could do this, but I really don't recommend it simply because um, credits are actually pretty easy to get hold of, particularly later on in the game. Whereas Endo is much more of a pain to to accrue. So we're gonna we're gonna dissolve those, um, and that's just gonna show you up here. Uh, this is your Endo, and this is 
a resource that we use combined with credits to upgrade our mods. So, where it's telling you to upgrade something to level 2, uh, let's go ahead and find redirection here. Because uh, again, I just recommend you guys equip it. Uh, you can equip one of these, uh, and then you can upgrade it with your endo. As you can see, it takes a even for um, like getting a few up, it doesn't take that much of the endo. Uh, once you get above five, it starts going up quite rapidly. So what I recommend actually doing is upgrading them uh, fairly steadily, and I would actually go with redirection first, just because shields are really really handy. Uh, get this up to like level four or something like that, and that's gonna gonna keep you much better protected as you go through the missions. So that's the first two things. Uh, the next things. Thankfully for the uh, the duration of this video, actually pretty easy. The next thing you're going to want to do is spend your starting platinum. Uh, it's a pretty obvious thing to spend it on. I think you get 50 to start with. If you get more, then spend more on this exact same thing. Um, and basically, you're going to want to come into here. You're going to want to go to categories, down to equipment, and at the end we have slots. Uh, and you're going to want to get um, quite a few of these Warframe slots. Now, you do actually get an extra slot for every other Mastery Rank that you get. So, oh, look, there's, uh, there's my thing coming right there that I'm recording to people. Um, so, uh, every other Mastery Rank that you get, you'll actually get an extra slot. So, where you see all of these here, in fact, let's bring this up in the inventory because that would be better. Sorry, guys, I'm doing all of this in one take. If it ends up a bit long, so be it. Right, so Warframes. So here we have my remaining slots. Obviously, I've bought quite a few. Uh, but you'll actually need slots for um, each of the Warframes to be housed in. Uh, and that's kind of one of the few things that you have to spend Platinum on. So with your starting Platinum, definitely, definitely spend it on there. Uh, what else have we got? Because I've got to have five. So we've got mods. We've got that. Oh, so the last two. Um, most, both of these are pretty easy, pretty quick luckily. So we have this over here, which is syndicates. Uh, I call them factions just because that's what they are. Um, pick a faction to join. Uh, it can be any. So I could pick this one. I could uh, go ahead uh, and join. So to actually join, you just need to give them the uh, the sacrifice that you ask for, and then you can join. That will give you um, like an icon you could put on your armor. I've not actually put one on Loki yet. So uh, on ash yet so we're going to show this so in appearance uh, we're going to regalia um and it front or back doesn't really matter so we're going to go for a sigil and you'll have like one of these and it'll have this uh a symbol similar to this on it where it shows you that you're going to gain affinity with that faction um i guess unfortunately you are not going to be able to get anything out of it immediately but this is just going to save you a lot of time later and the final thing is to basically just unlock as many nodes uh, on as many planets as you can. So once you've done the first few things that we've spoken about here, unlock the junction on junction to Venus, go to Venus, unlock as many of these nodes as you can. Obviously, you just unlock them by completing them, and that gets, allows you to get to the next one. So it's just like a daisy chain. Uh, particularly getting to here, that's going to be great for you, because obviously once you get to here, plus 10% XP. Um, we also have Romulan down to the south here as well. And that... Or at least those are the beginning five things. Now, one from one of my clan members, uh, he said to give this to you guys as an extra. Shout out to you, Nuno. Uh, and that is, when you come down here and see this list of Warframes with Platinum signs next to them, don't be afraid of it. Um, you can build all of them in-game. Uh, you don't need to pay, pa pay Platinum for any of them. So, um, obviously, don't, don't freak out, don't panic. And in fact, I wouldn't pay Platinum for any of them. Um, I've always felt that there's an argument for buying the starter ones at 75 just because it's a pretty good deal. Um, it saves you a lot of time, you can get them early, but uh, you'd have to pay money for that. And I'm not going to make that assumption just yet. I will do like a what you should maybe spend platinum on first if you are going to pay into Warframe, which I advise doing if you do enjoy the game. Um, and yeah, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Hopefully it was helpful for you, and I'll catch you next time. See you then.